Hello, dear customizers. Uh, I am here at Pumpurela uh, in Vinerac, and we are getting ready to put our boat into the sea. So I think now would be a good time to tell you about all the upgrades we did, starting with the electric motor water cooling. So we have some tubes connecting the motor. We have our water pump right here. We have, we have our expansion tank, so the water goes from the expansion tank into the pump and then goes into the motor, exits the motor and then goes to this tube. So the water circulates to this stainless steel tube on the side of the boat, we have right here, and then returns back into the expansion tank. So the water is uh, cooled by the sea and then that cold water is cooling the electric motor. Second thing we did, we painted of course everything into protection against effects of the sea and everything wants to stick to the boat so you have this special protection cover called copper and we mounted the ladders so we can mount to the boat, we still need to figure out some kind of way to fix them right here. I cannot move them now because of the this is in the way. But when we put the boat in the water, we will see what will what needs to be done. And the only thing uh, left to do now is to mount the solar panels and put it in the sea. And finally test the motor and everything to see how it works with the new cooling. So we brought the solar panels, they are here, now we need to mount it and then our good friend from HV Blast that does sand blasting will put it into the sea. And here you can see him right now, he also restores all boats and this boat is getting a nice coat of plastic. Say hello to watchers. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> going in and here we are finally solar sailing in our electric boat with new gear installed it's a partly cloudy day which is actually good for some recording not a lot of wind the sea is pretty peaceful and we are traveling at about 1200 watts 4 miles per hour with 93% uh, state of charge of the battery and we started our journey about 8.05 o'clock so let's see how the new motor water cooling will perform there is one thing uh, I noticed uh, about the motor uh, even last season but uh, this season I decided to tackle this problem. Uh, the problem is that the motor is designed to work better in uh, one direction than in the other direction. So uh, the engineers who designed the motor uh, decided that uh, it will go more efficiently in one direction and less in the other because one direction is always for going forwards which will be used most of the time and the other di direction is for going backwards. So, uh, as I already installed the motor and uh, everything is done, it's uh, too hard for me now just to uh, turn it the other way around. 
it's too much work and I don't want to do it but there is one other thing we can do and that is to buy the propeller that spins in other direction so we started searching few days ago for the propeller and luckily we find one it's being shipped to us today but uh, before I install the new propeller I want to show you what I'm talking about and uh, how the boat is running now so when we go forward uh, it uh, uh, makes a lot of noise doesn't have enough doesn't have uh, as much as power and when we go backwards it's uh, a lot quieter and it has uh, plenty of power and uh, we can feel the difference so I can show you now when we go forwards you can listen to the sound so this is the sound going forwards and this is the sound going backwards Now we can test the throttle response going forwards and then throttle response going backwards. I'm going to give it a short burst of throttle to see the difference. So here is forwards. And here is backwards. I don't know if you heard that but I'm going to try again with... You can just watch my hand and... Uh, I will release the throttle as soon as it uh, goes to full speed. So that was forward. And that's backwards. So we can see the difference, how fast the motor can spin in the other direction. And I think it's about... Uh, I, I would say uh, the motor would be about 30% more efficient going in the other direction so we should have better results uh, better efficiency better cooling uh, better speed better acceleration better basically everything should be better it should be more quiet I can't wait to install the new propeller and here's an update uh, it's uh, 8 30 and we've been driving for 25 minutes on 1200 watts of power and he here you can see on the thermal camera how the motor is performing so you can see that this part uh, where the stator is cooling so this part is pretty cool and uh, you can see that uh, uh, on the brushes there is a bit more heat so this part is at 30 degrees and the brushes are now at about 100 the wires are around 50 as I can see that should be fine and the stator let's see if we can record it through the hole is also about 100 so I can confirm that the stator part uh, and the brushes are around the same temperature for now so let's see how it goes from now on I want to try something else now I'm going to turn off the water cooling and uh, see what will happen to the motor and how it will heat up so it's turned off and let's see I'm just going to record it with thermal camera. So we are almost at our destination and as you can see the temperature ro rose uh, steadily from about 30 to now 62 and it would only continue to rise who knows until the motor probably burns out. What, so what I can do now to make things a bit interesting, I will just turn on the water cooling and let's see how it cools down. And that is pretty instant. This part where water goes is already at 35. The rest of the motor will start to cool.
so we can see that uh, the motor starts to cool pretty quickly around the part where the water is flowing and then it starts to cool the other parts of the motor this front part is now 10 degrees lower and the rear part of the motor is 15 degrees lower so water enters first this part of the motor because this part is where the brushes are and I want to start the water here to make the cooling more efficient and then it goes here and exits here so the biggest problem now is that the stator is cooling super efficiently so I could probably pull out I don't know 30 kilowatts from it and it would not overheat but the rotor part of the motor is not cooling so efficiently because it does not have water cooling it only has a little bit cooler ambient temperature because of water cooling it's easier to cool and it's also spinning so it's circulating some air and transferring the heat more efficiently but basically I still cannot do wonders with this motor because the rotor is still cooled with air but it should be enough for our use I think we should be able to pull out 2 kilowatts constantly from it with no problems and going beyond 2 kilowatts doesn't make any sense because we only throw power away because this this old boat cannot go any faster it's limited by its design so we cannot go faster than its design allows us to yeah I think that's it the motor will become more cooler and cooler so we are almost at our destination which is this beautiful beach i just stopped now to record this video and to record the thermal imaging of the motor and uh, we are now at 81 percent uh, uh, of charge we arrived at 854 so we've been driving for uh, what 50 minutes and we only consumed about 15% of the battery and it's still pretty cloudy so uh, not a lot of charging now 97 watts and uh, yeah that's it I think uh, we've, we learned something today we're going to continue with the testing and uh, I have some more interesting test planned so stay tuned